Hey everybody, JC here with another TNI Toy Review. And today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And for today's review, I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new Marvel Legends 12 inch San Diego Comic Con exclusive Daredevil figure from Hasbro. Now, this figure comes packaged in special Comic Con type packaging. You've got this metallic foil box with Daredevil on the front, the artwork is by Joe Casada. And you've got this slip cover here on the bottom that says Daredevil. You can just remove that from the packaging so that it reveals the entire image of Daredevil. And again, this is artwork done by Joe Casada. And on the back, you've got some actual Braille writing. Now, I don't read Braille, so I don't know what it actually says, but you do have actual, you know, the little bumps with the Braille here on the back of the packaging. And then again, you have the Daredevil logo. And then this box opens up. On one side, you have more artwork from Joe Casada of Daredevil. And then on the other side, you've got the figure clearly displayed in the window box. All right, let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging along with the other contents. Now, first of all, let me just say a big thanks to the folks at Hasbro for sending me this figure so I could review it for you guys. Now, this figure was available at Comic-Con as an exclusive. However, if you weren't able to attend the convention, this will be sold on the Hasbro Toy Shop. I don't have a specific date. Originally, it was said this was going to be put up. All the exclusives were going to be put up on August 14th. But then later, they said the Star Wars exclusives were delayed until September. And I'm not 100% sure if that's going to apply to all the exclusives or just the Star Wars. I have reached out to Hasbro to try and get clarification on that and so if I get an actual date for when this will be online I'll be sure to post it on Marvelous News. But just know that if you didn't go to the convention you will eventually have a shot at getting this on Hasbro Toy Shop. So first of all we get a pair of billy clubs with this figure and the detail on these are pretty good. You've got the grip and you've actually got some sculpting on the grip there which is done in black and then the rest of the billy club is done with that maroon color that matches the rest of daredevil's outfit now unlike the six inch version these don't actually clip together to form a larger staff so you just get the two individual uh, billy clubs and then like with the six inch figure you do get the little holster you've got the little holes on the holster there so you just slide them in there to store them and as long as you have the grip hands on the figure, he'll hold the billy clubs nice and tight. You get two different sets of grip hands. You get the, uh, the gloved grip hands, and then you get ungloved or, or with the wrappings, and you can have him hold the billy clubs with these as well. As far as the hands go, you get four different pairs of hands with these. You get two pairs of gloved hands, and then you get two pair of wrapped hands for like boxing or what have you. And so if to switch out the gloved hands, all you do is you just pull out the hand, you got the little peg on the hand and the hole on the arm, and then you just plug in the hand that you want to replace it with. So you get the grip hands and then you get the closed fisted hands. And you got some pretty nice detailing with these. You've got the armor plating on the hand and then you've got some black with some ridges sculpted in there. So they look pretty good and they match the rest of the figure nicely. And then with these uh, wrapped hands, what you want to do, you can just switch out the hands themselves if you want to, but really what you're supposed to do is you're also supposed to pull off this lower arm piece, and it can be kind of hard to pull off at first. It just kind of slides off. And then you get these wrapped lower arm pieces, and you want to push them in, and you got to push them up good and tight, and then you just plug in the, the wrapped hands. And so it gives you that look you know, like you would have with a boxer. And again, you get the pair of closed fisted hands and then you get the pair of open grip hands for holding things. And with these, you've got some nice detailing. You've got blood splatter on the wrappings on all sets of hands. So that looks pretty good. Looks like he's been, you know, beating the crap out of somebody. And then finally, you get two different head sculpts with this figure. So you get this masked head, which is what's attached to the figure when you first take it out of the packaging. And overall, I like the sculpting detail with the horns and the lines on the mask, and he's got these little vents over his ears. Good skin tone. My only minor complaint is I don't really like the color they used on the lips. It's a, a peach type color, and it really kind of makes the lips stand out a little bit more than I think they should. But otherwise, I think it's a pretty nice job with the head sculpt. And then to switch out the head, you just pop it off. It's attached with a ball joint, and then you can pop on the second head. And the second head is an unmasked head, so this goes with the, with the wrapped fist. So um, basically, it looks like he's been fighting. He's all cut up. He's got some band-aids. He's got a black eye. So this, you know, he's definitely a battle-damaged, unmasked type head. 
I like the wash in the hair that they used and he's got kind of a red color hair and again use that kind of uh, peach color on the lips which kind of make them stand out a little bit but overall I think they've done a pretty good job here and then they also give you this actual mask piece so you can't actually put it on the head the head's too big but you know so you can have him like hold it in his hand and so it looks like you know he's he's taking his mask off which is kind of cool. So for the rest of the figure, they've used this maroon color throughout the rest of the costume. Not a whole lot of shading on the main body of the figure. You do on like the lower arms, you've got this metallic, almost metallic maroon color for the armor plating. And then as I mentioned before, you've got the black with the ridges sculpted in there. You've got that same on the belt here with the little straps that go down to the holster. I do like the wash effect that they put on the actual holster so it looks kind of like a leather look to it. You've got the little pocket sculpted on there. And you've got some pretty nice sculpting detail on the actual belt. Again, you have a little bit of wash effect so it looks like it's actual leather. And I like the little ridges that they sculpted and the belt buckles and everything. Same with the boots, you've got some wash effect going on with the boots and you've got the laces sculpted there and you've got the black on the bottom of the soles. So it looks like the actual leather boots. It makes it kind of stand out a little bit from the rest of the costume. So I do like that. And then with the DD symbol on his chest, that's just painted with a lighter red color so it does stand out. So overall, I think they've done a pretty good job here capturing the look of the character. And I like how it's more of a, you know, kind of a mix of the kind of leather and armor pieces and not just straight spandex. So for articulation, you can turn the head to the left and to the right, and he can look down about that much, and he can look up pretty good as well. You've got the hinge joint there with the neck. Arms attached with your standard ball hinge joint at the shoulder, so you can get his arm out good. He's also got that extra butterfly type joint, so you've got the back and forth movement there at the shoulder. He's got good rotation with the arm. He's got a bicep swivel. He's got a double hinged elbow, so he can bend his elbow good. Then you've got a rotation there at the lower arm. And then you've got the hand that attaches. You gotta be careful because you can kind of, when you turn this piece here, it kind of pushes out the hand a little bit. But you do have rotation at the wrist and then you have hinges on the hand, so good up and down movement with the hands. Then you've got a midsection joint, so you've got rotation there at the midsection. And you can pivot to the left and the right there at the midsection. Doesn't have much in the way of crunch there, but then has an actual ab crunch type joint so he can crunch down good and he can look back good there. Doesn't have a waist swivel, just that rotation up there at the midsection. And then with the legs, I'll take his billy clubs out. So the legs are attached with ball joints so he can do the splits about that much. He can get his leg forward pretty good and can only do his leg back about that much. Does have a thigh swivel, double jointed knee, so good bending at the knee. He's got rotation at the boot cuff, hinges on the feet, so up and down movement with the feet and he does have ankle pivot and two peg holes on the bottom of the feet. So for articulation, you can turn the head to the left and to the right and he can look down about that much and he can look up pretty good as well. You've got the hinge joint there with the neck. Arms attached with your standard ball hinge joint at the shoulder so you can get his arm out good. He's also got that extra butterfly type joint so you've got the back and forth movement there at the shoulder. He's got good rotation with the arm. He's got a bicep swivel. He's got a double hinged elbow so he can bend his elbow good. Then you've got a rotation there at the lower arm and then you've got the hand that attaches. You gotta be careful because you can kinda, when you turn this piece here, it kinda pushes out the hand a little bit. But you do have rotation at the wrist and then you have hinges on the hand so good up and down movement with the hands. Then you've got a midsection joint so you've got rotation there at the midsection. And you can pivot to the left and the right there at the midsection. Doesn't have much in the way of crunch there, but then has an actual ab crunch type joint so he can crunch down good. And he can look back good there. Doesn't have a waist swivel, just that rotation up there at the midsection. And then with the legs, I'll take his billy clubs out. So the legs are attached with ball joints so he can do the splits about that much. He can get his leg forward pretty good. And can only do his leg back about that much. Does have a thigh swivel, double jointed knee, so good bending at the knee. He's got rotation at the boot cuff, hinges on the feet, so up and down movement with the feet. And he does have ankle pivot and two peg holes on the bottom of the feet. So this figure stands just a little bit over 11 and 3 quarter inches tall, not quite 12 inches tall. Here's a comparison with the Marvel Legends 12 inch Spider-Man figure and Deadpool figure. Here's a comparison with the Marvel Legends 12-inch Captain America and Iron Man figures. 
And finally, here's a comparison with an older Toy Biz 12 inch Wolverine figure. Okay, so that's my review. So overall, I think if you've been collecting the other Marvel Legend 12 inch figures or just a big Daredevil fan, this is one you'll definitely want to add to your collection. I think they've done a pretty good job of capturing the look of the character with this figure. Now this figure was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, but as I mentioned before, it should be available on Hasbro Toy Shop soon. When I have a specific release date, I'll be sure to post it on MarvelousNews.com, so keep it there for the latest updates on that. But again, in the next month or so, this should be available for purchase online if you did not attend San Diego Comic Con. We'll have a full image gallery up at MarvelousNews.com. There'll be a link in the video description below. And as always, leave a comment, let us know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. Also, please hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. You can also follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. I'll have links to those in the video description as well. And until next time, I'll catch you later.